Welcome back to Blar. Now we're going to do a Ross toy hunt. Of course, there's a bunch of cool stuff at Ross these days. Let's see what's left. All right, here we are at the Ross. So this Ross has been kind of picked clean. There's a little Grimlock there. Not much left. A little Sewer Shredder Turtle. They do have this Apex action figure that looks pretty good. I'm not a big Apex guy, but Octane's still here. He's been here a while. The box is beat up. You do have this Digimon Anime Heroes action figure. I'm not a Digimon collector, but this thing looks pretty good. It's a nice packaging. Action figure looks pretty cool. And I think it's $5.99. So we have this table full of nothing for me, our collectors that watch shows like this. So no action figures, no Joes, no Transformers over here. Just some big metal machine uh, car sets. Uh, there was one anime figure up there. Not much on the end caps. They have these Thanos guys all the time. So yeah, I'm going kind of quick because there's really nothing to see. They do have these Transformer Legacy action figures for eight. So Beast Wars, but I don't like Beast Wars or Legacy. Or those Legacies are too plasticky. Do have some Naruto action figures here and there. Got some Dragon Ball Z stuff left over. Well, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, but I looked like it was a decent action figure. They do have these cool Gundams. Uh, this one they have a lot of, not a lot of, they have three of these Gundams I think I saw at the store. So I did pick up this guy um, prior to this visit in another Gundam that was actually different than him. But they're $11.99, so a little more pricey than the G.I. Joe classifieds and stuff. But a cool looking action figure. Down here, nothing. Um, this is probably the best action figure in the store at this time, right now. But you can say they get trucks every day but Saturday, so you never know. Got stuff on the floor because it's Ross. And this is, yeah, this is definitely the cleanest I've seen Ross in weeks. It's usually just kind of mayhem down there. Uh, nothing. Another little Dragon Ball Z thing. And that was like a, almost like a keychain size. I think it's a Bakugan set right there. So I was doing the thing, you know, where you look down, hopefully find something laying sideways. So sometimes I would find a G.I. Joe like that. I think I found barbecue like that before. Tony Hawk skateboards. Big plush thing, whatever that is. Uh, random dinosaur. What else we got? Not much. This Hot Wheels City pizza thing. And another one of those Gundams. So these are cool looking, I think. There's a better picture of it. So I haven't done an unboxing yet, but we'll get around to that for that guy. Uh, they do have those Monster Strike Marvel characters, and they're like a three ninety nine. They have this He-Man playset. I did pick up the two pack of him and Skeletor, which was three ninety nine, which is a great deal. But I don't see it around anymore. Uh, this playset looks kind of silly, so I think it's eight or maybe around ten bucks. I don't think it's worth it. So skipping that. So this Ross, like I said, has been pretty much picked clean. They always have these generic robots. But thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.